Hello guys, welcome. To tell you the truth, I'm actually tired of hearing people say there are no scholarships in the UK. So the mission of this video is to show you the varieties of scholarships presently accepting applications. I've showed a number of scholarships in the past, in the past weeks, showing fully funded master's PhD scholarships in the UK. So today I'm bringing your way more opportunities. So a quick look on my YouTube channel already shows that there are several fully funded opportunities. So this one is at Loughborough University in the UK. There's another one here at Ulster University also in the UK. There's one close to me here at Coventry University. There's another one at Cardiff. So several fully funded opportunities here in the UK already on my channel. But today I'm bringing you more opportunities. So if you are Oliver Twist and you need more, I have more for you. So today we're looking at opportunities at the University of Stirling. We're looking at Queen Mary. We're looking at Imperial College London. We also have opportunities at Lancaster University. We have at Leicester, University of Leicester. We have at the East Anglia, University of East Anglia. We have at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. We have at City University, london to mention but a few so i'll be taking you through a quick dash of the different opportunities we have presently accepting applications so one or two of them might just catch your interest and start applying as soon as possible so if you've not subscribed already this is a good time to do so because i'm sure that you will enjoy the numerous materials on this channel on fully funded scholarships not only in the uk but around the world australia us asia wherever you're coming from there is something for you so let's begin without any further delay so for the university of sterling there is this scholarship called the institute of advanced studies studentship so it is open to both international and domestic students and covers your full phd tuition for three years so in this university the phd in this university the phd is usually three years covers your fees and your stipend so if you're coming to the university already and you have some kind of um, external funding, the university will still give you some cash bursaries to add to that external funding. So that's great. So to apply for the scholarship, you have to um, be applying for one of these thematic areas. So whatever research you're coming to do here, this is a PhD. It has to talk about um, one of these six themes. So you can see a theme here on behavioral change and healthy eat eating. There's something on health and um, aging. There's something here about um, equality. There's something here about methodology, something about heritage, something about resilience. So if you're interested in this scholarship, you should be around these areas. And you might be asking, what are the applications requirements? And for this particular scholarship, good news is that you do not need a master's to apply. So you can move directly from your BSc to apply for a PhD. So if you click on this link here, you get full details on how to apply. In fact, you just have to sit down and read on your own, digest the information. As I said earlier, fully funded three years PhD, fees and stipend. Then it has, it has to be among the six thematic areas. So for academic qualification, you can always scroll down to check. And um, there's going to be a webinar on this scholarship on the 28th of February and the 9th of March. So you can also register for the webinar to get full gist on how to apply. So money, what is it worth? So it is worth, you can see here, this is the amount you receive as stipend. And it's also open to international students, as you've seen here, both home and international students. So do not worry. It's not just for home students alone. So the other info here, but we have several other scholarships to talk about. So just a quick look at the admissions requirements. All you need is a second class um, upper degree and you're qualified to apply for any of those thematic areas. So just read closely on your own the particular um, application process. You can see how to express your interest. You can see things about the selection process. So quickly, take a chill cup of um, water and sit down and study how to target this university and apply, especially if your research interests align with the six thematic areas we saw together 
here already. So let's move somewhere else. But before we leave Sterling, you might be concerned about the English language requirements because somewhere here they might mention something about, oh, you have to fulfill the English language um, requirements there. And for that, that's not a problem actually because we can check together. Here it says the IELTS 6.5. A number of you might be worried that, oh, the IELTS is quite expensive. Oh, there's no time to prepare for it. Is there a waiver? So I've checked the English language requirements for this university. And it gave a list of majority English speaking countries. Well, many countries are still not on the list, I must say. Like my country, Nigeria, is not there. Or well, however, it also says here that there are waivers for those with local qualification and those who studied in English language, either in their undergrad or postgrad um, levels. And I think there is a tab here where you can apply for waivers as well. So you can engage with this and see how, you know, you can get a waiver. I can see like those who studied in Ghana, for instance, this is um, the WIAC exam is accepted and you have to get a C6. And I think the same would apply for Nigeria because Nigeria also takes the same exam. So you can see that here. So you wouldn't need to take um, the IELTS um, English qualification. So let's move away from Sterling. We still have lots of lots of scholarships to look at. So this is the University of Queen Mary or Queen Mary University of London. And you can use the filter function here to check for either PhD or master's scholarships. So let's click on master's here. And then we we'll choose country of origin. So I'll just go straight to my country, Nigeria. And these are the scholarships open to Nigerians. So we know these ones already. So if you're an old G to this channel, you probably have heard of the Chair of the Commonwealth. And most of them are closed already. But if you scroll down, you see other opportunities. But pay attention to the amount because we're looking for fully funded scholarships, remember. And if you scroll down a little, you find one fully funded scholarship here, the Deep Mind. So look at what it offers, lots of money actually. So you can see it covers tuition, including international fees of over 28,000 with living stipend of over 15,000. Then you will have travel grants of over 2,000 pounds and equipment grants as well, like extra research grants. Also keep an eye on the deadline. So this particular scholarship, the DeepMind Scholarship, is open to those who intend to apply for courses in inter artificial intelligence, computer science, machine learning, computer games, open to all countries. The information here is also specified on how to apply. Most times you, you are required to apply for one of these courses. And then when you get an offer, you come here and apply for the scholarship. So I'll take that again, apply for one of these courses and then come to this page and apply for this scholarship. So it's a two-way application process. And the documents, of course, have been listed here that you need. You can see here they need an offer letter. So you have to get an offer before you can apply for the scholarship, an offer from this university. And then other documents like your CV. And then you can see an essay of 500 words. Why do you wish to be considered for this award? and why this university. So there's already a video on this channel on how to write a letter of motivation. So that would probably help you to write this essay as well. So the, the application procedure is clearly stated here. Just sit down, relax and read and digest the process. So we're still talking about the DeepMind Scholarship. So this is actually another university and this is the University College London. Uh, not University College, sorry, it's the Imperial College London, sorry. And here you still see the DeepMind Scholarship also funds similar um, fields like artificial intelligence, computing, and things like that. Large amount of money as well. This gives um, over £20,000. Equipment allowance is also there. Travel grant is also there. So the application procedure is also clearly written here with the deadline. And I think you have to apply on time and then probably you're shortlisted for this scholarship. The, the process of shortlisting is also stated here. So just sit down, relax, read on your own and you get the full gist about the process. This scholarship is also open for PhD level as you can see. 
So we're rushing, we're dashing across, and now we're at Lancaster University. So as usual, in search of fully funded programs, and this is their funding page for PhD opportunities. And let's see, these are for different departments. So choose the department that aligns with your background, aligns with your interest. So I'll go for social sciences and arts and see. Let's see social sciences and arts, what is available for us. So I'll go to funding for international students and check. So there is this one here. How much is it worth? It is worth 4,000. Well, 4,000 will not be sufficient, unfortunately, to pay my tuition and um, them leaving stipend. So I'll check for something else and see. Are there other scholarships? So fortunately, there's another scholarship here, the Faculty of Arts and Social Science, Sciences Doctoral Scholarships. And you can see here the amount, the amount of money, that's 15,000, um, 17,000 rather, over 17,000 pounds. And you can see that it covers full tuition plus maintenance. So covers you through and through. And the deadline is the 21st of March. So how do you intend to apply for this? The information is also written here. There are different tabs here on how to apply, different documents you need to fill, and different people you can contact as well. So just sit down, relax, follow the instructions, and you will be fine. In case you have questions, of course, you can ask the contact persons. There are lots of emails here. There are different forms you also have to fill in the application process. So let's dash. Now we are at Leicester University. So let's look for opportunities still open and opportunities open for international students. So for the Research Council, a number of them are closed. I talked about most of these scholarships in the previous video in the Research Council. Well, let's check for the ones that are open. So let's go to Life Sciences. For Life Sciences, you can see there are different topics already. For this particular scholarship, the title of the research has already been specified. So what you're just coming to do is to prove that you have like a background knowledge on how to carry out these different kinds of research. As you can see here, open to UK and international applicants. And the deadline is also here. So you can just, if you're interested in this, you click on it. It's about cancer survival data. And you can click on this and see more information, what it's all about. And then the funding, funding is also clear, over 17,000. Then the applications requirements needs a 2-1, either mathematics, statistics, or relevant disciplines. And you can see here as well that if you have um, a master's, it's also a boost. It's ideal to have a master's for this particular program. So check for the others and see We'll go to other departments and also check. This is engineering. What do they have here? We also have a list of three different projects, also open to international students. Then we go to faculties of, let's see, that's the School of Arts and College of, of Social Sciences, Arts and Humanities. So this one here is just for UK students. But we have one here for both UK and international students. And remember to keep an eye on the deadline. So we're still moving, guys. We're still moving. And now we are at the University of East Anglia. And um, this scholarship, I've talked about it before, um, sometime last year, but it's still open. And it's the David Sainsbury International MSc Scholarship. It's for those interested in plant health. And if you're interested in plant technology, plant health, this scholarship is for you. And there are two kinds. One is partially funded and one is fully funded. And of course, we're going for the fully funded one. For the fully funded one, full tuition, as you can see, and then a maintenance grant, that's a living allowance of over 17,000. And you also have the travel allowance here, as you can see here. This is wonderful, of over 4,000 pounds. So this is a beautiful opportunity, very generous as well. So if you're interested in plant science, I think you should take advantage of this one. So let's dash across the UK a little bit more. So this is at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. So if you're in the medical field, 
congratulations. You might find something here that suits you. So this is the funding page and we're going straight for the master's funding. Let's see what they have available. So for the master's funding, as usual, we'll be looking for overseas opportunities. So you can see one here. You can see one open to all people. Overseas, overseas. So it's good to also click on them and see what they contain to make sure they are fully funded and the application requirements as well. So you can see covers tuition and then living stipend of close to 20,000 to 19,500 as you can see here. So check for yourself and see which one suits you. Check and see if this one interests you. This is for masters, of course, you can check for a PhD as well. Research degrees and see which is open. Still accepting applications, guys. So keep an eye on the application deadline as well. For those ones that are still open. And most of them, as I said, are fully funded. Fully funded opportunities. So let's dash and see probably the last school we'll be looking at today. And this, this is at um, City University of London. And these are the different PhD. You can also use this uh, future function and check for masters. But I've noticed in this university, they have more funding for PhD students than master's students. So let's go to the PhD research degrees. And these are the different opportunities open to students. So you can click on this one and see um, what they contain and whether it's fully funded or not. I think it's important. And this one says it's replaced um, 1st of February and closes in May. So check the amount for both home and international students and a stipend of 12,000. A little bit on the lower side, I must say, compared to the previous ones we've looked at. But hey, a win is a win. A win is a win regardless. So that's it. And check for other opportunities and see if any of these ones catch your interest. But just in case none of these interest you, that's fine. You can always return to our channel and see the different other opportunities we've shared previously. And not just in the UK, as I said, there was one we shared in Belgium, Australia, Ireland, Canada. So make sure that you utilize this opportunity to prepare your different documents. And as usual, guys, we cannot wait to celebrate you. Several fully funded opportunities flying your way and make sure you catch at least one. And I will see you at the top sooner than later. Bye-bye for now and do not forget to subscribe. Cheers.